Enthusiasm, the recipe for confidence. The ancient and modern definitions have been given for a reason. Enthusiasm comes from two Greek words, en and theo, which literally means God within us. When the Apostle Paul was thrown into prison and was singing praises to God, rather than complaining or whining, the jailer said the only way he could do that was in theos. In other words, in order for him to be able to smile and sing, he must have been possessed by some heavenly being. That's the true definition of enthusiasm, to be so eager and so excited about something or someone that those around you believe you're possessed and something or someone has taken over your being. Can you imagine being in a prison cell? Now, now, they, these are dungeons at this time. They're not the prison cell of today is a is a penthouse suite compared to what Paul was in. And he's in this prison cell and he's giving praise and glory to God for putting him here. And you got to look at him and just like these guards did and they go are you crazy you're praising god because you're in this terrible place and they thought to themselves you know for him to do that he's got to have some heavenly being within him it's definitely true that nothing great is accomplished without enthusiasm in order to accomplish something great you must have an intense interest in doing whatever it is if you want to have a great day, you must also seem to others to be possessed supernaturally to do so. The norm is simply to have the type of day that cut circumstances dictate. You do not have fun. You make it fun. You do not have good days. You make it a good day. You do these when you add enthusiasm to the equation. If you're looking to have a good day, you're never going to have a good day. You got to make it a good day. The the one great coach that I ever played for of all the, and I played junior high, high school, college, and of all of those guys, the one guy that was truly a great football coach, I kind of thought he was crazy when I first started playing for him. And one of the things that he would do is we, <laughs> at the beginning of practice, we would have to get up and say, to be enthusiastic, you have to act enthusiastic. And I mean, we had to say it in a manner that would please him. And after you do that for a while, you actually become enthusiastic. When I started selling books for the Southwest Bible Company, you got up, they taught you two major things. The first thing they taught you was how to get up in the morning. Second thing was the sales talk. And you practice both of these for three days before you went out to sell the books. But you would spend eight or ten different times a day practicing getting up in the morning, being enthusiastic. And you had to get up and you had to say, I feel happy, I feel healthy, I feel terrific. Did you? No, you felt like a fool. It was three o'clock in the afternoon and you're practicing getting up in the morning. But once you started doing that and you start getting up in the morning and you say, I feel happy, healthy, and terrific, you actually do. You see, if you're going to be enthusiastic, you got to act enthusiastic. 